guys. Yeah. I I have a joke with you, but yeah, okay. Pick a random like evolution stone from Pokemon, any random one. Okay, so, um, Firestone. Uh, okay, Firestone. Where's my Firestone? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Where's motherfucking my Firestone? Firestone? No, 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 no. Here's much more fitting. It's like, yo, where's my ice stone? Where's my motherfucking ice stone? Oh, yeah. That actually fits <laughs> much better. It fits so much better because of Frozo. No, I got it. Where's my metal coat? <laughs> Where is my metal coat? Where are my rare candies? <laughs> <laughs> also, I just want to say I wish that there were more evolutions. I know that the ones they have apart from Sylveon are pretty much Where excellent. are my four restores? Where are my four restores? <laughs> it's like, I feel like they should make EV illusions for every type, so that if you have an EV, but, like... What a dragon type Nelson! Yeah, come on! Dragon type EV, that would look really cool. Nelson, go to the fucking corner. At the same time. Look at what Nelson, Nelson typed in. Uh, no. Just, uh, Nelson, no. Oh. Like, oh, poison type EV? Ooh. Flying type EV. Oh, that would... Like I said, I I think I would choose Tar Strong to be the voice of Eevee because Tar Strong has um has um experience you can't just with both. the no. voice of Twilight Sparkle to be freaking Eevee. Which she's not the voice of Twilight Sparkle. She's also the voice of Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. She's mm -hmm. also the voice of various other video game characters. She's also Who's the voice the of the guy who does the National Geographic narration. Okay. Have him as Eevee. Like, hello, I'm Eevee. Okay. <laughs> that moment you realize that Eve is that question, would Eevee be a male or a female voice? Like I think like, whenever I look at Eevee, it's like I just, Eevee I just like turns to be freaking Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> I like what? Oh my god, Whoopi Goldberg is Eevee? <laughs> well well, let's oh, see oh, what oh, kind oh, of oh, lot oh, of stones oh, you oh, have. Is that too soon? I'm sorry. Cause like, I personally feel like Eevee would make sense as a female to compliment oh. Pikachu's man. Ah, yeah. shit. I gotta fight one of these Betty bastards. White. <laughs> Betty White? <laughs> Betty White as Eevee? Betty White as Eevee? I don't know. Who's Richard Horton? <laughs> you can't tell me millions of people wouldn't show up to watch Lady Gaga in a cartoon anime. No. You're telling me that went to the box office. I mean, they they they'd show up to see Deadpool as Pikachu anyway. So yeah. <laughs> see, all I can think of now is when you said Betty White, is me thinking like a Golden Girl version of uh, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. See Dawn. Thank oh, you for Serena. being out of my Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Iris! No. Oh no! <laughs> Freaking... What's her face? Gardevoir? Is one of the gold... Oh. Oh. Go. No, too much hentai. Too much hentai. No, yeah, we can't do it. Too much hentai. No, no, no we can't do it. No, I no. I if anyone is gonna, if anyone is gonna voice God of War, it has to be either Rarity or Flasher voicing if, God of War. If we're gonna go yeah. full circle with the Golden Girls thing, Detective Pikachu is Ryan Reynolds, who's also Deadpool, who loves B. Arthur, who could be E. No, do the girl from all the it? Hunger Games. How about that? It was with yeah. Kevin Bacon in. Kevin Bacon. Kevin yeah, Bacon Kevin as Bacon. Evie or Pikachu. No, we gotta compensate. We gotta make Danny uh, DeVito. No, dude, Trump, Trump for Eevee. Trump, Trump for Eevee. Eevee. Oh my God! <laughs> I, just Dennis hearing him, Pokemon like hearing Pokemon that. Pokemon no, Pokemon just that Eevee, Pokemon. just saying right out loud. We need. This is this little, this little thing. A giant Pokeball. Yeah. A great Pokemon wall. And and everyone's gonna pay <laughs> for it. To pay for it. <laughs> we we, we <laughs> will build a wall and make Pikachu's pay for that wall. <laughs> Oh we need god. to keep the Alolans out. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the subject here because I'm about to stumble upon something that is important for me to share when playing this game. So, in order to actually access uh, the gold armor, you go through one of these sections and here you take on Vile. Um, you need to acquire a particular weapon to fight and you have to get it from Crush Crawfish. Shit! Oh god damn it, this part is annoying.
So yeah, when facing, uh, you face Vile, and when you face him, use the spin wheels. I don't know if you have to defeat him with it, but you have to use it. I'm playing that right now. And use it that. wisely if you want to actually, like, defeat him entirely. <laughs> what if you don't beat him entirely? Does he destroy you, you, like, after you defeat Vile, you'll be able to access... It's weird, it's cryptic, but when you take care of him with the spinning wheel blade from, um... Crush Crawfish. The first Sigma stage, you can access that small section, and they have a uh, capsule where you can um, get the gold armor. Yay, gold! You know the Play-Doh of the Metal Universe. Oh fuck oh. you! <laughs> <laughs> and no, oh, look who decided to right. join! It's the Wilsonator. I'm gonna make a wall out of a bunch of Onyx's geodudes and make Mr. Mimes pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. So bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come into. Yeah. Use that. Wow, I finally found someone who's better at Trump jokes than me. <laughs> oh! All I'm gonna say is we have a uh, Eevee show up. All he needs to do is stick his head in a bag of Cheetos and he can do the best. Oh, so <laughs> it's just fade in the color orange for a little while. All right, I'm going to head out and probably go back to my house because we've been here for way too long. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know if I'll be back into the stream, but yeah, thanks for having us, guys. You're welcome. Dylan, say bye. Dylan, exit the room. Anyway, see you guys. Uh, Ouch. Don't forget to write. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Miscalculated that jump. Fucking will. Ow! Damn it! I keep forgetting those things will shoot wherever you are standing. By the way, well, I hope your uh, honeymoon was fun. Let's get a hashtag congratulations in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> is, this is this honeymoon over or is it still going? No, I think it ended. Uh, okay. Oh no! No! Oh, damn it! All right, cool. Boosh. Finished off vile with the spinning wheels. Congrats, Will. Hey, we we abbreviated the same way logic. <laughs> I love wow. how I love how some of these bosses that you fight, the uh, text box goes really, really slow. I will hunt you to yeah. the day you die. And Michael Bay explosions. Okay, not to um not to jump into existential territory, but how does a robot haunt? How does a robot what? How does a robot haunt you? Haunt. Robotically. <laughs> Shut up, Decker. You're <laughs> like Hunter. Haunt, 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 haunt. You're questioning the logic of a universe where reploids are a thing. Yeah. Reploids. yeah, why can't you make sense like me? Fuck you. <laughs> what's the fun and, in uh... well, What's the fun in making? What fun Man. is there in making Red? sense? Didn't Discord say that? Yes. Nah, I came up with that myself. No, the Joker <laughs> said it. Of course it was Discord, you jackass. <laughs> Futurama had, a, had, a, had an episode with robot ghosts. I don't remember I don't remember saying any of those. Yeah, but I don't... It's like, I'm aware that Futurama does stupid stuff. I wasn't aware that Mega Man X did spectral stuff with robots. <laughs> Didn't realize that robots could do ghost stuff. Well, well actually, don't question video game logic. <laughs> I want... love what Derek. Uh, I love what Derek says. Do 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 do. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, speaking of Metroid, that Metroid series you said I should definitely. Good home was it? Uh, Super Metroid, the third one. That one, Super Metroid. Easily, like that's. Like I'm not I'm not just saying it because it's my favorite game of all time. It's the game that makes the most sense that you'll get caught up with and you can play the other two Metroid games like afterwards. Like you're not really missing much. <laughs> Which is okay, kind of weird be because I'm because I'm somebody who like prefers to play games chronologically, but I think Metroid has to be an exception. Mm. Yeah. Ow. Ah. <sighs> The sooner so, I get are everything. The emulators, is... like, 
are the emulators for these games something I'm gonna need to buy because I am fucked in terms of in terms of money. Don't worry about that. There's free emulators. Yeah, almost everybody does like emulators. Hmm. Yeah, like I have an N64 one. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't have an NES or whatever I need handy. Eh. Also, yes, Magical are... Star, Winter Wrap-Up is a much better track to have because the track in this stage sucks. <laughs> it's it's so nightmarish. I can't stand it. I remember when I was a kid... Winter wrap up winter. No, like, this, the, the, the track in this stage is, like, it's so creepy. It sounds like a mutated music box or something. I hated it when I was a kid. A I, mutated music box. I love that. It's like, oh, God. That Shut up. Reminds me of one, that actually reminds me of one of the jokes from Helsing and Bridge. Oh, where boy. the, like, social justice warrior woman is singing, um, like, the Rick Rolling thing. And then one of the drums is like, well, at least she is not singing about the friendship and the ponies and the rapping of winter. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. I don't remember that episode. <laughs> I still like the part where uh where where he's like, and get that bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons. <laughs> wow, Thomas is really, really eager to ask me about the whole Super Smash Brothers thing. I honestly don't know, dude. I would have to play it. Yeah. It was like whenever I played Super Smash Brothers, the character I would usually default to would be Kirby because Snake wasn't there. <laughs> what can I say, man? It's like Metal Gear is in my blood, which is why. Maybe I'm really what can I say that. except you're welcome? Yeah, I was thinking that too. But uh, I, I would probably be Wolf from the Star Fox series, just because Wolf is cool as fuck. Kirby. That or Marth. I mean, I would definitely want to try out some of the new characters like Ridley. Yeah. I'd be willing I, to try that I, too. There's a shit ton of new like characters that I've yet to try. I have not been up to date with a lot of these um, Smash uh, Smash Brother titles. Also, is, um, is Super Smash Ultimate exclusively for the Switch? Yes. I'm going to have to convince Ma to get my little sister a Switch for Christmas then. Get your little sister a Switch. So you could play. You would love Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> you know, some people say that the music in X3 is garbage. Like, okay, if you think the music in X3 is bad, compare that to the PlayStation version. That was horrible. I love the music in X3. By the way, Game Link, thank you for following. Hey, I remember Gambling. He's, um... Yeah, we, I've seen his stuff before. I'm honestly, uh... I, I'm talking about the Switch some more. I'm honestly, like, surprised that Nintendo is going, like, the direction with the Switch that they are, you know, having Diablo 3 on the Switch, Skyrim on the Switch, you know, it's just... It's crazy, like... Yeah, I, if you had asked me, like, years ago, if, if I ever thought that a game like Skyrim would be on the Nintendo console, I would have told you you were fucking crazy. <laughs> Nick, I didn't know that X3 was on the Saturn. I would have to look into that. I know that they also... I know that um, Earthworm Jim 2 was on the Sega Saturn. So who else was hyped for Detective Pikachu? You know, despite all the jokes people say about Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu, I'm for it. I, yeah, yeah I, I like the trailer. I'm I'm legitimately interested in it. I still also, think, it, like, I think it's the weirdest way to start to translate to a live-action Pokemon movie. Like, normally, if it comes to something like that, you would think it would be on the, you know, the identical levels of, you know... Uh, going through a campaign of exploring through different worlds and such. But no, like, this is, a, like, a different way to start, which, it's not a bad idea. I'm open to that. Yeah. Although I do hope they don't do the cliche movie thing and make it so that, like, the main character has a dead-end job, is constantly bullied, struggles at school, and all that other bullshit. You know, I think that's going to happen in old movies, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to stop watching movies then, because I like creativity. <laughs> <laughs> Logic. Yeah. 
There is logic in what he says. Yes. I'm going to leave the call. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna say something else, but no, I don't want to. <laughs> Go ahead and say I'm it. Changing. <laughs> Log your logic is flawed. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. Not sorry. <laughs> Creativity in films are dead. I mean, you're tired. Okay. It, it, okay, this is kind of a delicate one. Creativity in films are, are dead. Love it. 10 out of 10 wood grammar again. No, like, it's been That's dead. Hashtag. It's pretty much been dead pretty much all the time because throughout the history of filmmaking, there have been what? countless you... amounts of adaptations. King Kong was originally a, like, it was originally a book. The Wizard of Oz was a spin on the original books. So, I, I can't really seem to add much of anything else other than... Yeah, there's a lack of creativity. Well, I, I, I can't really seem to add much there. I mean, yeah. creativity and originality... Is that unfair? I, I think of those as two I'm separate entities. With... Go ahead, Logic. Yeah. Like, I'm perfectly fine with someone making Peter Parker like character, but you know, the cliche is only ever going to work if it's Peter Parker. <laughs> Hence why I call it the Peter because it's something people use all the time that's only ever go going to work with one character. You keep cutting out a few times. Batman. Sorry. Batman. That was stable, but now... And... And the call is lagging like shit again. That pony. Ponies rock. <laughs> True. I second that. Thomes, <laughs> try not to get eager for attention whenever you type in a comment. Most of the time, I'm focusing on the game. What about the Shinko Haruke? Okay, the command is to beam. You can destroy the energy coming from. Yeah, I would win every time. Um, Thomas. Uh, go. Ah. Uh, yeah. He sucked at it. Rip gold. Yes. You, you, you still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this called is being funny. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's it's being a it's being a pile yes. of garbage. Oh. To, to kind of to answer or whatever to explain your uh, I'm pretty sure that Activision or Blizzard is not going to bring the auction house to I oh. I can't say much about the whole Blizzard thing because I'm not that involved I can. in it well, of course you would you're, in, you're involved to do a shit ton of big games well I can talk about it because the I uh, I played Diablo, I played a shit ton of Diablo three, you know. So I can't remember if I've played a Diablo game or I've just known someone who has played a Diablo game, but I feel a little bit for maybe it's all the YouTube videos. What do I think of the classic three, um, the classic Disney three Cabulares reboot? Um, I can't really compare and contrast because I know that there was a movie of the three Cabulares from the forties. I would have to take a look at that and compare the two. Is there st is there a pot going? A kettle boiling? Sounds like it. Oh, yeah, there Smell is. The, the dragon. Peter's making tea. Smolder the dragon says. <laughs> Smolder the dragon says Bill Cosby as it. Bill Cosby as Evie. <laughs> no, no. 
I'm just gonna nope the fuck away from that. I don't know if y'all heard me earlier when I said, uh, like, Freeman as Eevee. <laughs> well, I'm Eevee. as more as an Eevee, have no doubt. <laughs> I would personally like the Water Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Or the electric stone, or the fire stone, whatever nope. my destiny. Fuck the fire stone. Flareon oh, is, Flareon is the worst evolution. Also, statistic. Consider this: making money in the Pokemon universe, according to the um, game theory videos I've seen, is pretty much impossible. So, yeah. why not a Pokemon, a water Pokemon, and a grass type Pokemon? And and then move yourself to a deserted island no one ever visits, and then just live your life there. Mm. And the water would keep you hydrated, and the grass type Pokemon could just grow across. Wheel of Steel, thank you for the uh, the bits. And to answer your question, um, if you were Mega Man X, who would be zero? I would imagine Solar would be zero. John Cena is easy. Oh my god. Oh, fuck fuck you. you. No, no, no. <laughs> just so much fucking no. I just name is TV. No. No. Are you sure? No, no to what? <laughs> no, I do not accept no, John no. Cena as the Eevee. Fuck no. <laughs> Wait, are you saying no to John Cena? I was already cringy enough when they made a friend movie and put John Cena in the friend movie too. Oh, <laughs> Jesus you Christ. Christ. Duke Nukem is Eevee. <laughs> I've got balls of steel. Oh. I've got oh. Eevee balls of steel. <laughs> Duke Nukem doesn't deserve the light of day, let alone Eevee. Oh, God. I don't even, like, I don't even know. Yes. Eevee is That's fluffy. So... I wanna, wanna hug the fluffy Eevee. It's like the first, the first I ever, it's like the first I ever saw of um, Duke Nukem was the new game that everybody said was shit. So I'm just going by the natural. The Duke Nukem is. <laughs> All right, so. Do, 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 do. Who's Nolan North? Voice actor. Nolan uh, what's North his role? Did, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Pretty much any he, uh, video game character, this guy. Uh, yeah, it's true. He, he pretty much does the voice of every video game character ever. Yeah. Like, uh, um... Hmm. In Des Destiny and Destiny 2, the ghost that your guardian carries around is voiced by Nolan North. Hmm. And what... what I, why do I always forget that, that, that massive adventure? Uh, Uncharted. Yeah. Yeah, and in Deadpool, uh, Nolan North voices uh, Deadpool in the Deadpool video game. Because, you know, apparently Ryan Reynolds wasn't into doing that one, but he was going to do X-Men Origins <laughs> Wolverine's video game. Well, honestly, I can't compare the two for who does a better Deadpool, but whenever I think of Deadpool now, I just think Ryan Reynolds. I know, Ryan Reynolds does a phenomenal Deadpool. I'm just saying that, you know... X-Men Origins Wolverine is an abomination, so is it, and it's video games. Well, game no shit, Wolverine Sherlock, of course it's an abomination. I've already, like, <laughs> no, like, I, I still love that in the end, uh, during the credit sequence when Deadpool was reusing that time machine that, uh, Cable had. Um, he, he fucking goes back in time and he shoots the, um, the other Deadpool where his, like, mouth was completely sued shut. And I was just like, yes, because it, 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 like, that's a glaring sin. Because everything that fucking Deadpool says is always comedic gold. Yeah. Like, X-Men Origins Wolverine was at best an insult to anyone who was a fan of Deadpool, and at worst, an insult to anyone who was a fan of Marvel in general. Wow. You don't silence the Merc with a mouth. You don't silence Deadpool. Yeah, no, it's the same kind of thing of, when it comes to Tom and Jerry, you don't give them dialogue. Ever. No. Like, if it's a one-liner joke, that's one thing. Because I know that there's a one where Tom goes all, Don't you believe it. But when it comes to shit like, Oh, I'm Tom. I'm Jerry. Fuck off. I'd rather watch, the, I'd rather watch that crossover with Willy Wonka. 
<laughs> I mean, at the least you could. With Willy Wonka was actually kind of faithful to the adaptation done for Disney. Yeah, for Disney, it wasn't Disney, dude. I thought they did it. No, it was Warner Brothers. Oh. Yeah. And that makes a little more sense. Yeah, because Looney <laughs> Tunes is owned by Warner. Looney Tunes is owned by Warner Brothers. <laughs> but either way, like, okay, I will say this much: um, the Tom and Jerry Willy Wonka is just a big what the fuckery. But, fuck, dude, I can at least, like, account for, like, how ridiculous... Like, it's perfect riffing material. But if you're, do uh, like... Tom and Jerry the movie was just a big middle finger to those who are fans <laughs> of the freaking... Like, it's not just because they had dialogue. They focus more on this kid who's trying to look for her dad, which could have been any other movie. You just slap Tom and Jerry on there, and it just feels like you've been cheated. Like, that's not what people come to see a Tom and Jerry movie for. They come to see the fucking slapstick violence. <laughs> the worst part about it is something that you're probably going to get as well, Golden, because I, I know you well enough. Go ahead. Is that the premise of the Tom and Jerry movie, regardless of how terrible it was, and it was, is that Tom and Jerry needed to learn to stop being enemies, and by the end of it, guess what they were doing again? Yeah. Being fucking enemies. So the entire movie was a colossal waste of everyone's time. Yeah, exactly. It, it was such a counterintuitive message from that stupid dog and that little flea who tried to be pals together. And it's just like, dude, kiss my ass. <laughs> this is not the Tom and Jerry that I fucking remember. Tom and Jerry was all about that slapstick violence and how satisfying it was watching it when it was all on Cartoon Network. Like in midday, they would ha like they would marathon the shit out of it, yeah. with a few little exceptions every now and then, where they would have like not necessarily a cameo, but another character involved with something. I like I, I can't name of anything at the top of my head. It's like I remember back in like when the original series of Tom and Jerry ended. It ended with them sitting on a train track or something. Uh, oh, Wait, yes. Time. Yeah, the theory of whether or not they're both dead. <laughs> yeah. And nowadays, you'd be lucky to see anything even vaguely resembling an innuendo of the most wholesome of sorts. <laughs> because the current Tom and Jerry series is just like, hey, let's have Teen Titans go without dialogue, make it slightly more competent, but not any more bearable. Good master code. <laughs> How could this happen to him? No, we do not sing that song. Fuck you. Okay.